بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنك لا تنادي فهم يا بني قومي رشودا scrutiny of the alleged references to Muhammad in the Bible as a prophet, they absolutely have no relation to the prophet of Muhammad, nor prophesy his coming. Uh, Muhammad is not mentioned in the Old Testament. Muhammad is not mentioned anywhere from Genesis to Revelation. And Muhammad is God too messed up. That's a joke! We inspire thee as we inspired Noah and the prophets after him, as we inspired Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes, and Jesus and Job and Jonah and Aaron and Solomon, and as we imparted unto David the Psalms. The verse we've just heard is from chapter 4 of the Quran. In the verse, God is affirming to humanity that Muhammad is indeed the recipient of a divine guidance just as Noah, Abraham and the rest of the prophets. However some Christians and Jews today don't believe that Muhammad was a prophet and the covenant that God made with Abraham. And since the Quran is not their book of authority, in this video I'm going to show you that the book you're holding in your hands contains the name of the seal of prophethood, the Prophet Muhammad. As known, the Old Testament was preserved in the Hebrew language. In the fifth chapter of the Shir Hashirim, which is one of the five Medjolic or sacred scrolls that are part of the Hebrew Bible, or for short the Song of Solomon, as Christians know it today. That chapter is discussing someone. Jews will say it is discussing Solomon, while Christians will say it is discussing Jesus. Considering this is the Songs of Solomon, it would seem logical that it is discussing Solomon. The verses, describing this mystery man, have the narrator's speech conjugated in the feminine, meaning it is a woman who is describing this man. So it is possible that it is one of Solomon's wives discussing her husband Solomon. However, Christians assert that Jesus is being discussed, and that the chapter is describing a man who was not yet alive at that point. A prophecy. In reading the English translation of Song of Songs 516, it finishes the description by saying, he is altogether lovely but what most people don't know, is that the name of that man was given in the original Medjolet. Here is verse 16 and how it is written in ancient Hebrew before introducing the vowels in the 8th century. From the Hebrew Bible on scripturetext.com Here is the word in question. This word is made of four letters. Mem Het Mem Dalit Now when reading the word as it is written in its original form, with no vowels, it can be read as Muhammad, which is the name of the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad with no A after the H. According to Ben Yehuda's Hebrew English Dictionary, it is correctly pronounced as Muhammad, not Mamad. So how we're going to know for sure, if it's pronounced as Muhammad, the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad, a random Hebrew word, the only way is to give the verse to a rabbi, and say to him please read. 
Here is the Song of Songs 516, and how it is read by a rabbi from a Hebrew Jewish site. Please notice, the im in Hebrew, is a plural of respect. Here is the famous SDL translation tool which includes a professional human translation as well as an online translation. We're going to copy our Hebrew word of the Song of Songs directly from the Jewish site. It's the same site where you can hear the rabbi reading the verse in Hebrew. All links are in the description. So, we're going to copy the word and paste it and ask, please translate. Are they going to translate the meaning of the name of that person? as the Bible translators did. Which is the praise and the lovely one or are they going to keep the name as it is? Well, see it yourself. Here is the world lingo translator, the result is the same, it's Muhammad. We have no right. We have no right. To translate names of people. Anybody. Your name should be retained. Mr. Black is Mr. Black. Though he's white. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Ibn, they translated as altogether love. But the word Muhammad is there. In the Hebrew language. The word Muhammad. In the Hebrew language. I will tell you a story from my own personal experience. Years ago, I used to spend every Sunday afternoon in a place called Speaker's Corner. And in my years down there, I got to know a Jewish rabbi. He was a very nice man. He used to listen to me and he was always very polite and talked about Islam in a very nice way. And one day during one of our conversations after some years, I thought that it was about time I should invite him to Islam. So I said to him, you know my friend, we have been talking now for many years and even you have admitted to me that Muhammad is a prophet. So why then do you not embrace Islam? He said to me, we Jews we never change our religion. I said, but half of the rabbis of Medina became Muslim. He said, that is true, but still, we Jews never change our religion. I thought, what can I say to him? He looked at me and said, listen to me, my friend. God sent to us a prophet Moses, and we didn't even listen to him. Do you think we're going to listen to another prophet after him? From another tribe? from another people, and he said that, I had nothing left to say. He knew that Muhammad was a prophet. In fact, another rabbi also came up to me and he said to me, we know Muhammad is a prophet, and he quoted to me a passage from the Bible.
استشهد البيض هل خاب الرجا فينا لما سعينا فما رقت عزائمنا عما نروم ولا خابت مساعينا قوم اذا استخصموا كانوا فراعنة يوما وان حكموا كانوا موازينا تدرعوا العقل جلبابا فان حميت نار الوغى خلتهم فيها مجانينا